What's up guys, another video here today and I'm in what I consider to be the most underrated but awesome city in China, Wuxi. Okay, Wuxi personally has always been a favorite city of mine because it just, it has a unique feel to it. But I wanna know, what do you think the most underrated city in China is? And I'm not talking about cities that are already famous. Why do I call Wuxi the most underrated? Because it's an awesome tourist city with a lot of stuff to do on the Taihu Lake, but people don't talk about it enough. So write in the comments, let me know what you think is the most underrated city and I will consider traveling there. A lot of people always tell me like, oh, Hangzhou's great, and it is, or oh, Beijing's awesome, and it is, lots of cities in Yunnan are awesome, and they are. However, therefore, because people always talk about them and they get a lot of respect, you cannot count them as underrated. So I wanna talk about some places, I want you to tell me about places that nobody talks about. I wanna hear about unknown gems, all right. Okay, it looks like a touristy temple in the middle of this kind of night market next to our hotel. Oh, okay, so it's like a legit temple. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I think it would be rude for me to go in and film. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to, I'm gonna play it safe out of being respectful. Please let me know in the comments below whether I could go in there or not. Okay, now we're gonna go explore the city center because there's a lot of like different color LED lights and all these tall buildings. Tim Horton's right there, boys. Canadian soft power. What do I always say on this channel? You go to big cities, you get lost, and you come across cool stuff. Oh, okay, so it, this actually goes like all the way around. All right, let's check it out. I haven't done a night video in so long, so I don't really know what to do, but the city is just laying out the path for me which was the thesis of my video. Most underrated city. Okay, if you disagree with me in the whole of China, fine. But at least in this Delta, all right? But hey, give me your suggestions. I wanna go to other places that nobody talks about that are cool like this. Okay, I got a little worried because uh, that's the the Ascot Hotel, uh, but then when I looked at it closer, it's not as high as our hotel, the Hyatt Regency. So, whew, can't have another hotel be the highest hotel in the land. Okay, so like, I want to speak more to what I said about how. I think it's the most underrated city in China and my personal kind of like favorite of, a, of the smaller tier cities. And it's kind of like, there's something about it. It must be the lights, the architecture and the, the, like, the ancient architecture integrated into the city itself that just makes it a little bit different than your average city in this delta. It just, it, sometimes a lot of the cities anywhere in the world, cities in countries get repetitive and they all have those trends anywhere, whether that's in China or Canada. However, there's something about this city that kind of just sets itself apart from the other Chinese cities in this area, and I can't quite put my finger on it. What do you think? You mentioned something about like the, the Buddhist culture or something is very <laughs> visual, visible in this city. Yeah, I mean, the Buddha culture is very dominant in this city. But like, in ways that maybe other cities aren't, or just, it seems more visible, I don't know. I, like I said, I can't put my finger on it. What do you think? Yeah, also I can't put my finger on it. Okay, so we're heading across the street because we heard some hip hop dancing. 
Okay, so we went over and I uh, we saw like a hip hop show. Obviously, I can show you a little clip of it, but I can't film too much of it. It was really cool. I would have liked to film more, but don't want to get any copyright strikes. Copyright violations. Copyright violations. Um, you know how that works, because uh, there was a lot of like popular 90s, popular 90s hip hop music they were dancing to, but it was really cool. Okay, so I'm starting to like figure out how, what I, what I want to say about this city. A lot of cities in China go pretty heavy on the LED lights, and this is no different. But there's just something different about the colors, and I think the way I'll word it is, the LED has a very Sakura feel to it, if that makes any sense at all. See what I'm talking about? You do see it, you don't see it. Just let me know in the comments. All right, so. I've done like kind of a walking of the downtown area and what I've done is I've put the Strava link which will tell you the GPS of where I walked in this video. And now some more information on the city. Let's go see what the best hotel in the land looks like and how much 300 Aussie dollary dues can afford you in this city. Yeah, you heard that right. I paid 300 Aussie dollary dues to stay at the Hyatt Regency in, in Wuxi. Check out this lobby. Mm. They knew it was my birthday. Tomorrow is my birthday and my video tomorrow, I'm gonna be showing you more of Woosie, but now we're gonna go swimming, but let's check out this hotel room. All right, well, I couldn't think of a better way to end today with an amazing swim at an amazing pool and a better way to end this video. But I have another video coming out tomorrow when I visit the Taihu Lake from Wuxi. So stay tuned and that'll be coming soon.